Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Niridhana here from Leo Tales and in today's video I am going to show you some of the product empties which I have been uh, waiting to show you for a while now. I usually collect empties and I have a big <laughs> box of empties products. I always carry it with me and I'm like okay I need to shoot this video now. So yeah, quickly let me just show you some of the products. Some of them will go into my repurchase list while others won't. So let's get started. Starting with the first one which is the M Caffeine Body Wash and this one um, will go into my repurchase list I guess. Now, I am not a huge fan of M-Caffeine fan. Some products have worked, mostly the body care products, but some haven't, like face care, actives and all. So, this is the coffee body wash with berries. It has a fruity coffee aroma and the aroma is the best part of this product. It's a, it's a fine blend of fruity and coffee. So, it's so nice. I mean, oh, I miss the fragrance so much. It lathers really well. It cleanses up really well. The fragrance wouldn't last really long. Like, once you step out of the shower and you wipe off, pretty much that's it. But the fragrance is really good. I mean, I, I, I love the fragrance of this one. So, um, yeah, in the sense that... Um, yeah, so, uh, do I like it? Yes. If I have to pick a body wash again, and if I don't have many options, then I'll definitely go and pick this one. Uh, the fragrance is what I really like. So if you love experimenting with very fruity, coffee-like fragrances, but not overpowering, then you should definitely try the M Caffeine body wash. Now, the next MP that I have here is by Earth Rhythm, and it is one of their body butters. I have all four variants. One my mom is using, one I haven't used, and this one is Tangerine. Yeah, Tangerine body butter. Yay! I love this one. I am not, usually I'm not a fan of um, these uh, tropical fragrances. Okay? I like fruity but not this tropical uh, pina colada like fragrances. But this one is like orange like fragrance, very fresh. And even if you apply, uh, even after hours of application, your skin feels really soft. The fragrance is really nice. And it's um, 150 grams of the product. Uh, it will last you for a while. I apply directly onto my wet skin after shower. It's great for all skin types. If you have excessively oily skin and if you live in a humid climate, then you may not want to use it during daytime because it's a body butter end of the day. It's not a lightweight lotion, but it's not that heavy. Like sometimes body butters can get really thick in like, you know, you won't be able to apply it on your skin. This is not the case. This is actually very good texture. And I also have their pink variant, which is honey, which is Oh my god, the fragrance is so nice. I'm, I just started to use it. The cocoa butter variant is also a night and they also have a coconut variant which my mom is using right now. Anyway, the tangerine one is a clear winner. If you love orange tangerine like fragrances, you're going to love this fragrance and it's a good one actually. The next empty that I have here is by Chemist at Play. It is the roll-on, the 4% active roll-on. Um, order control underarm roll on uh, aqua fragrance so this uh, I like the brand because they have like no fragrance aqua fragrance I think sweet fragrance so that way you can pick a good one so this is not an antiperspirant it's only a um, um, deodorant that is it will not cost you to sweat less but it was like a good deodorizing action now the fragrance it's a truly masculine fragrance I would say it reminds me of um, men yeah men I can't think of a woman when I smell this. Um, not a strong cologne, not like that. It's not like, um, um, you know, very strong, pungent, no. But it's a predominantly male kind of fragrance. If you're at home and all, it's fine. But if you want to step out and if you think, oh, this is not a feminine fragrance, then maybe this is not your cup of tea. But I think I like the fragrance. I've always liked um, neutral, uh, manly fragrances also. So yeah, this is one of those fragrances. And whether this one worked or not, it really worked in terms of a deodorant, like five to six hours, it worked well. I can't really say if it reduced pigmentation. I mean, I guess, I mean, I won't say that you should get this purely for pigmentation. No, maybe something else. But as a deodorizing product, yes. Will I repurchase? Probably not. That is not because the product is bad. It is because there are so many options available in the market right now. In fact, I'm going to do a dedicated video on deodorants, body sprays, body mist antiperspirants soon in this month itself so you will get to know there are so many brands available so i wouldn't probably repurchase because i really want to try all of those brands so that is the reason why i may not go again for this one but that's not make this product a bad one it is a good one especially the uh, uh, the array of fragrance options that you get now the next one i have two empties of this one it is the plum coconut and peptide shampoo plum shampoo usually doesn't work for me. I'm not a huge fan of plum hair care products in all honesty, but this coconut peptide range somehow it works for me. Even the hibiscus range is good. So I stopped using this after I colored my hair. So then I switched brands. That is why. But otherwise, 
this is good i have dry frizzy hair it did not make my hair more dry i would definitely apply an oil before starting so that is there still my point is i got two of them one was the pr package and the second one i purchased because i really liked it even the uh, conditioner not conditioner i have used their mask the tub one the mask even the mask was really good so if you have dry hair and if you want like a good maintenance shampoo then you can go for the uh plum one um many of their best seller shampoos did not work for me like their olive range um, olive right yeah olive one which is for dry hair which was launched back in 2018 i guess none of those things worked for me but this one yes it does work for me uh, once i go back to my original hair like once i shift from colored hair to normal hair i think i'll reach out to the shampoo again so will i repurchase yes when the time comes i will now the next product it's I think I emptied it at least 6 months ago. It is a Chemistat Play 2% encapsulated anti-aging actives and 0.5% salicylic acid oily uh, skin night cream. So when you expect like when you hear oily skin and night cream you expect something that is a bit lightweight maybe yeah I mean that was my expectation unfortunately that was not the case. I finished it but Mm-mm. it didn't work for me it was too heavy for me it made my skin sweat a lot even in an air conditioning room so i didn't like it at all so it was like a you know and i saw many reviews um, saying the exact same thing they do have creams for dry and normal skin as well maybe that would work but for oily skin that cream i had so much expectations you know from the packaging and the salicylic acid and everything it did not break me out maybe the formula is really nice that way it did not break me out my skin was feeling all nice and good but the formula was too heavy for me to the point that i will not be getting it again because i have used lighter or i am experimenting with light textured um oily skin acne prone skin dedicated products now and i think i have new favorites so this will not go into my repurchase list so these are some of the products that i want to talk to you about i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you guys think about it i would love to know let me know if you have any um opinion that is different from mine if any of these products did not work for you and it worked for me i would love to know the reason as well i mean that's how we get to know the different aspects of a product right yeah so we will meet again with another video until then take care bye bye